Self-defense is a skill you hope to never use, but something a local instructor says is good information, especially as you age. He says people that are more vulnerable tend to be victims more often. Here's his advice for us all to stay safe. Bruce Whitsitt has done some training with security officers here at Clovis Community. So thank you so much for joining us here today. You're, You're going welcome. to talk to us about self-defense. Why is it so important that people should know this? Statistics don't matter if you happen to be the victim. So um, a, a criminal attack can happen anytime, anywhere. And I just think it's, uh, it's like defensive driving. It's a good skill to have. So you're going to share with us some great tips that we can kind of incorporate, keep in the back of our heads. What is your, your most basic advice? Basic advice, what I tell everybody in every class is there are five, well, I see five elements to self-defense. Awareness, prevention, technique, fitness, and uh, what I call warrior spirit. So awareness is basically it's situational awareness being aware of you know looking around where you are wherever you're going being aware that uh, something called transitional spaces which are places that you have to pass through um, but they're not your destination uh, a good example would be a parking garage prevention depends on awareness if I'm totally unaware I'm not going to do anything to prevent crime but prevention can be as easy as just making sure you, your car doors are locked whenever you get in your car Make sure you've got good locks on your house to carrying defensive tools. I've got some examples here. Um, this is legal, and it's important that, that your defensive tool is legal. This is called a coubaton, and it's just simply a mini baton. You can put your keys on it. You can use it for flailing. You can use it for striking. Um, a tactical flashlight and pepper spray. Technique is what you learn in a self-defense class and martial arts. The next category is fitness. And then finally, what I, I just call warrior spirit. It's that sense that I, you are not going to make me a victim. I like that mentality. So the training aspect, you have some moves that you're going to teach us. Yes. What, what, where do we start? What? Uh, we're going to start with just basic stance. Oh, the stance is, is just simply... Um, a way of being balanced, uh, a way where you can be mobile if you need to, and where you can maintain those boundaries. Um, the strike I'm going to teach you is called a hammer fist, and it's, again, it's very versatile. There's, there's a lot of variations, and some of the tools I was showing you, you can use with that hammer fist. Okay, hopefully these are things that we will not ever have to use hopefully. in real life, but at least they'll be in the back of our head. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. it, thank you. If you'd like more information on self-defense courses, check out medwatchtoday.com.